Antibody drug conjugates, ADCs, are among the most sophisticated pharmaceuticals ever developed. They are an amalgam of a monoclonal antibody and cytotoxins selectively conjugated together to create life-saving therapies. For the analytical chemist looking to accurately characterize them, ADCs are extraordinarily challenging. Fortunately, there are powerful analytical tools with which to interrogate and understand them – liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry. Antibodies are inherently complicated proteins, roughly 150 kilodaltons in size, made up of 1,300 amino acids arranged in four chains – two light chains and two heavy chains. The heavy chains are post-translationally modified by glycosylation. Natural variation of the glycan structures means that even a pure sample will have a complex mass spectrum. Low molecular weight cytotoxic drugs are conjugated to the antibody with selectively stable linkers. The chemistry of linking drugs to exposed lysines, cysteines, or engineered sites creates an additional level of complexity that must be characterized and controlled to move forward with drug development. Cysteine conjugation provides an example of the challenges involved. The heavy and light chains are connected to each other by disulfide bonds between cysteine residues, one between each light and heavy chain, and two or more between the heavy chains. The eight cysteines involved in these bonds are a common target for creating ADCs. Mild reduction breaks some of the interchain disulfide bonds, exposing pairs of free sulfhydryl groups that quickly react with linkers to bind pairs of drugs to the antibody. There are three distinct ways for one pair of drugs to attach, four ways to attach two pairs, three ways to attach three pairs, and one way to attach four pairs. A typical reaction will produce a mixture of all possibilities, from an unconjugated antibody to one with up to eight attached drugs. The challenge now is to reliably characterize and document the distribution of these conjugates. Many of the drugs conjugated to antibodies are hydrophobic, and significant differences between conjugates can be studied using LCUV with a HIC column. Hydrophobic interaction chromatography generates a pattern of peaks distinguished by their level of conjugation. Changing the level of conjugation shifts the proportions of the peaks in an easily observable way, providing a quick profile of the reaction. A key characteristic of ADCs is the drug-to-antibody ratio, or DAR. UPLC with QTOF ms of deglycosylated ADCs under non-denaturing conditions can provide a direct measurement of DAR. The deconvoluted mass spectrum contains peaks with masses characteristic of an antibody with two to eight attached drug molecules. Informatics tools specifically designed for biopharmaceutical and ADC characterization can reliably automate the calculation of DAR and the distribution of conjugates within the sample. DAR can also be calculated from HIC data providing orthogonal confirmation of the drug loading. With an online 2D UPLC MS system, scientists can select a specific peak or peaks from an initial HIC separation for a second reversed phase LCMS analysis. In this example, one peak is isolated from the HIC separation. Because the conjugated drugs replace disulfide bonds, conjugated chains may separate under reversed phase conditions. Here we see that the positional isomers with a drug load of four can produce five possible structures. Only two of the possible structures are observed in the reversed phase analysis of this peak. The MS of the peaks reveals masses that match these two fragments. Only one isomer for a DAR of four has these chains, so we have positively confirmed this isomer. By the same approach, we can systematically determine the isomers present in other peaks. Peptide mapping can be used to precisely determine the site of drug conjugation and verify the integrity of the reaction. A trypsin digest of the antibody produces a set of peptides, some containing the conjugation sites. A drug conjugated peptide will be shifted in retention time and mass relative to the matching peptide of the control. 
This peptide contains two cysteines, so zero, one, or two conjugations are possible. UPLC MS to the E data show precise mass shifts that confirm the presence of all three possibilities. Whether you're in discovery, development, clinical trials, or commercialization, the tools to characterize and document the quality and safety of your ADCs exist. With UPLC and QTOF mass spectrometry technologies, augmented by purpose-built informatics tools, you can gain keen understanding of your antibody drug conjugate. Waters, the science of what's possible.